In this first video, I'm going to show how to enable the add-in stat pro made by Albright, the writer of the textbook, um, and what we'll be using in the lab simply because it's the fastest, easiest one to um, add in that we can enable that will give us um, statistical capabilities. So first things first, I'm going to download the worksheet that we're going to be playing around with. So I'll download this worksheet. And then I'm going to download Stat Pro. Now I do have a Stat Pro for Mac option here. Um, this was made by Albright, the creator of Stat Pro. Um, and it was picked up from um, the Indiana University's uh, web page because that's where he worked. Um, and that's where they continued to develop this content. Um, but note that um, VBA programming for Mac is no fun, so I cannot guarantee the quality of the Mac add-in. Um, if you run into any issues using Stat Pro for the Mac, I do recommend that you use um, the virtual computers that we have at BCIT so that you can use the PC version. I have tested out the PC version um, and it's fantastic. Okay, so hopefully you've downloaded the Stat Pro exercise and Stat Pro, and now we're going to make sure that we can use it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take Stat Pro out of my downloads and put it somewhere where I will regularly be able to access it. For me, I created a little folder on my desktop entitled Add-ins that you can see on the left hand side I already have the tree plan classic add-in in that so now I'm going to take it out of my downloads which you see on the right hand side and drag it over to the um, add-ins folder that I have on my desktop on this left hand side I could also um, have alternatively um, right clicked and cut the file and then right clicked and pasted the file over here. Either way, just get it to that place that you want it to be. Now that I have this file here, I could double click on it and enable it, but chances are it won't work due to Excel's tighter security settings. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to open the Excel file that I'm gonna work with, or I could open a blank workbook, but since I'm gonna work with this Excel file anyways, I thought I'd open it. Um, and then I'm going to go to File, Options, Trust Center, and Trust Center Settings. So I select Trust Center Settings, and then I go to the Trusted Locations. And what I want to do is create um, a reference to the folder that I have for my add-ins, if you don't ha haven't done so already, to be able to use your tree plan add-in. So I'm going to add a new location if it's not already there. Um, and I'm going to browse for that. Mine is going to be on my desktop and this add-ins folder. And then I select OK. Um, note when I did this that I don't actually see Stat Pro, so some people will often look for the file itself. It, what I'm doing is I'm selecting the folder off my desktop, so it's just the folder itself, it's trusted location. Um, and then I'm going to go OK, and I can see now that I've got desktop add-ins available as a trusted location. So now that I have the Stat Pro macro in a safe folder that um, Excel will consider trusted, I'm going to go back to File, Options, Add-ins, Go. And what I'm going to do is I've got a bunch of other stuff available, but I'm going to browse for my Stat Pro add-in. So I'm going to hit Browse, and I'm going to go back up to my Desktop Add-ins folder and I'm going to select that statpro.xla file or wherever you have it available. And now you can see that I have statpro checked off. I'm going to click OK. And nothing seems to have changed except I'm going to go to my add-ins ribbon. Um, oh, look, it's not showing up there. And that's OK. I'm going to exit my file and then I'm going to open it up again. So I'm going to go and reopen my Stat Pro exercise, 
file. And then I go into the add-ins ribbon and I can see that Stat Pro is available now. So I just basically need to leave Excel and come back to it. And now I have Stat Pro available whenever I open Excel um, and above my decision tree. And that's pretty much all it takes to enable the Stat Pro add-in. Um, time to move on to the next video.